Okay, so we've been able to uh, draw a sprite, a little simple face on a green background. We've uh, associated it with an object, and we have placed the object uh, in a room and uh, applied keyboard events to that object that allow it to move left, right, up, and down, and also stop in the absence of a key. But let's see what happens uh, as we run this and uh, talk about the next step in getting something going in GameMaker. Okay. So our man will go left and right and up and down and he'll stop. If I go left in the room, I leave the room. And the room ultimately is what we want to be the little world for the game. And yes. we want to have a defined world. And uh, yeah. we appear to not have that. So let's talk about how we can do that. Okay. Now, um, what I'd usually do is make a wall object that the player cannot pass through. Okay, so that's another object. And uh, if I follow you, uh, what you're going to do, I'm just anticipating here, is you're going to draw something. You're going to create a sprite. You're going to yep. associate that with another object. And you're going to place that object in the room. Is that right? Yes. Okay, can you show us that? Okay. We're going to make another sprite, and um, it's going to be just a uh, black square. Okay. So we make this fill and fill it with black. How come it's black? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, well, you can really choose any color that you want. You can make the wall object. You can draw anything you want. Um, okay, so there's... Uh, show me the fill. It's the little paint can. We're familiar yep. with that from MS Paint. Okay. And if I wanted it to be a different color, I've got a color palette over there on the yep. right. Yeah, so I can select anything. Yep. But we're happy with black, so great. Okay. Uh, leaving it like this, leaving it transparent, would delete the whole sprite. So it would have no effect whatsoever on the game. So we want to not have it transparent. Okay. It's very important. Okay. Now we're going to make another object. I have to ask you, um, you're on the forums a lot. Do you get that as a question with this didn't affect anything? Is it because it's transparent? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're looking now at the properties of the object you, we created, and so we've done what we do a lot, which uh, or so far we've done this a lot, which is draw something, and now we're going to call it an object. So let's see that. Yes. So we're going to name it, we're going to have it this little black thing. Okay. And since it's the wall object, we want it solid. Okay. So we click this little checkbox. Yes. And uh, it's not going to have any events right now, so we'll just click OK. Okay. Now, um, if we place th this object in the room. Okay, there's the room we had, and it's got the blue background. Yeah. And there's our little guy and we can you show me how you got the ability to do that I don't understand yes you just clicked um, on it you click from this little drop down okay. menu yeah if you want to select the player or the floor okay fine you so, called it a floor it's a, the fact that it's a wall it doesn't matter we're just defining yes. some we're defining some border yeah okay okay see if that works so I'm gonna play this Okay. And there's the wall, and I can go behind the wall apparently. So it's not yes. doing anything. It's doing, in fact, what we don't want it to do. Don't want it to do. So. So we are going to see this happens because the player has no idea what's happening to it. So we're going to add an event. This time it's collision. Um, you're going to use this a lot in complicated games. Collision with the floor object. That means when it hits the floor object. Okay, I just want to take one step back here. The object that we're discussing is the player object, yeah. object zero, which is the represented by sprite zero. And so what we've done is create an event We've added the event, and the event is a collision with the wall object, object one. Okay.
Okay. Yes. So now we have to look at what is, we have to decide what's going to happen there. Yes. Okay. So normally when you hit a wall, you want to stop moving. Okay. In, if you're being realistic. So we add the move event and we make sure you go nowhere at a speed of zero. Okay. 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 Now let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to play. I can go right, up, down, left, and I can't go through the wall. Very nice. I can go by the wall, even if I go from the right. I'm stopped. Okay, we're starting to get some yeah. definition.